Saudi Arabia wants to create the Great Wall of China, but theirs will be a city on the inside. Recently, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has revealed that it is planning to construct a mirror glass structure that would be 75 miles long, costing $1 trillion, and would be taller than the Empire State Building. The desert city known as the Neon, which would be approximately the same area as the state of Massachusetts, will be referred to as the Mirror Line. So, what will the Mirror Line city look like? Why is it being built in the first place, and how exactly will a city the size of Massachusetts fit into a 75-mile long wall? Let's find out how. In terms of architectural design, Saudi Arabia is effectively reinventing the traditional order. According to the plans that were made public by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the mirror line would play a vital role in the brand new zero-carbon city that will be built in the country. It's an environmentally friendly construction that extends for 170 kilometers, rises 500 meters above sea level, and spans 200 meters across. It was developed as a component of the NEOM project, which also includes Oxygen, a redefined industrial destination, and Nawa, a water and hydrogen system, and Trojina, a worldwide mountain tourist structure. This initiative places a far greater emphasis on protecting the environment. If you take a look at the novel concept, it was conceived by Morphosis Architects, a step toward a carbon-free utopia, which Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has previously recognized as an important priority for the nation. And by the way, in 2021, there were plans to build a futuristic metropolis that would have zero autos, zero roads, and zero carbon emissions. And now, the Mirror Line City will have the capacity to house 9 million people. After the Industrial Revolution, cities placed a higher emphasis on machines, cars, and industries than they did on individuals. In cities that are often regarded as being among the most developed in the world, residents spend a significant portion of their lives traveling to and from work. And because of this, by 2050, travel times will have increased by more than a factor of three. And as a result of rising sea levels and increased CO2 emissions, one billion people will be forced to relocate by the year 2050. Also, there is a risk of exposure to air pollution for 90% of the population. So, why is it that we have to put the environment at risk in order to make progress? In the words of the Crown Prince, every year 7 million individuals lose their lives due to pollution. And there is no justifiable explanation for why 1 million individuals should lose their lives on the roads every year. Moreover, why should we put up with wasting years of our lives on a commute that we have to do every day? Luckily, all that is about to come to an end. The mirror line will consist of a pair of towering towers that are both 16,000 feet tall and 170 miles long. These structures will be powered only by renewable energy sources and measure 170 miles in length. Importantly, since the natural features of Saudi Arabia provide a number of unique challenges, the mirror line will have to go over some of the most diverse terrains on the globe, including beaches, deserts, and extremely hilly regions. However, the interior of the world's longest tower will include an outstanding exhibition of innovative architectural design. And that's not all, there's more. The project will include a marina, a vertical farm, and a sports stadium, all of which will be revealed in the midst of the development process. And because of the novel concept of stacking city activities vertically, which Neom refers to as zero-gravity urbanism, the architects were able to build a rejuvenated capacity and move seamlessly in three dimensions. Using this structure, His Royal Highness and the Board of Directors of Neom hoped to overlay public parks and pedestrian spaces, schools, residences, and centers of employment. During the line project last year, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman declared that they made a commitment to a civilizational revolution based on a significant shift in urban planning that prioritizes people. Now that the plans for the city's vertically stacked settlements have been made public, they will put to the test the concept of flat horizontal cities as well as serve as a role model for improved human livability and the preservation of nature. We cannot ignore the livability and environmental difficulties that our cities are experiencing and Neon is leading the charge in providing innovative solutions to deal with these problems. It should come as no surprise that the mirror line will not be made for a low price. The Wall Street Journal reports that preliminary costs and time estimates suggest that the building of the mirror line might take as long as 30 years and cost as much as $1 trillion. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we are still around to see it. But how will it be funded? According to the Prince's estimation, the initial phase of the metropolis would have a cost of $458 billion, of which half will come from the Public Investment Fund, the Sovereign Wealth Fund of the Kingdom. In the final three months of this year, Saudi Arabia will approach Sovereign Wealth Funds in an effort to raise part of the remaining $229 billion in necessary capital. According to the Prince, it would also be financed by investments from the private sector and an initial public offering that is scheduled to take place in 2024. 
Moreover, Saudi Arabia is going to set aside $114 billion for an investment fund that is associated with Neom. Because of the way Neom was planned, its people will have easy and rapid access to all of the city's services, making their lives easier. In addition, a football stadium will be built 300 meters above the surface of the ground, along with vertical farms that will be operated by robots. Each and every one of the city's services, which are expected to be able to accommodate as many as 9 million residents, would incorporate elements of artificial intelligence. This carbon-neutral city makes the most efficient use of the land that is available and finds solutions to all the problems that are associated with current megacities. However, the technological achievements and inventive planning of this carbon-neutral metropolis leave one in a state of astonishment at first glance. And despite the creativity, there are many who think this project to be the most expensive PR deception in the history of the world. Some critics think that the resistance of Saudi Arabia to the Paris climate deal can be explained by the fact that it is one of the most polluting countries in the world. Critics of the project point out that these utopian ideals will come at a cost to the environment because a brand new metropolis would be built in the desert, whereas supporters of the project emphasize that the line will produce no emissions and will have a smaller environmental footprint than typical cities. The current leader of Neom bin Salman has the goal of helping the Saudi Arabian monarchy diversify its economy and adapt to the effects of climate change. According to the Saudi Gazette, a tourism official for Neom recently stated that the people who live there will be referred to as Neomians and will be subject to specific restrictions. This was reportedly done in an effort to assuage the concerns of potential residents regarding the kingdom's stringent legal system. And when the idea began to receive a lot of attention, Neom vehemently opposed it by declaring that even though the region would be a special economic zone, it would still be a part of the kingdom and subject to all regulations connected to security, defense, and border protection. But wait, why is Neom such a controversial subject? As a result of the fact that Neom goals have shifted throughout the course of time, a number of observers are skeptical that the line will ever be built. In 2019, the Wall Street Journal was able to get documents that had been stolen from a strategy meeting and which highlighted some of the megaproject's potential directions. The concept of cloud seeding to increase rainfall in dry areas was also discussed in the report, along with the idea of flying taxes and robot maids to assist with domestic chores and responsibilities. There have also been demonstrations against the location of the projects that are taking place. According to the BBC, Saudi security personnel shot and killed a guy in April of 2020, just a few days after the man started posting videos online about his reluctance to be evacuated from his home. But amidst all this, the Mirror Line project is the most mind-blowing architectural project to ever be invented. Only a state such as the Kingdom of Saud could possibly think and conceive of something as mind-blowing as this project and, more importantly, have the funding to achieve it. Will it be built in our lifetime? We'll have to wait and see.